Tributes have flooded in for television composer Alan Hawkshaw, who has died aged 84. He was the composer of many familiar theme tunes including News, Grange Hill and Countdown. In the 1960s and 1970s, he worked for the KPM production music company composing and recording many stock tracks. As well as this, he was an arranger and pianist. In 1979, the composer scored a number one single on the Billboard Hot Dance Music Play chart with Here Comes That Sound Again. Many fans and colleagues of the star have flocked to Twitter to pay tribute. Strange Brew Podcast commented, So sad to hear Alan Hawkshaw has died. Alan's legacy is immense and will live on through brilliant TV, film themes and in hip-hop samples. Trox added, Rip Alan Hawkshaw. Easily one of the best composers of all time. Rest well sir, he was so encouraging of me and my best endeavors. So sad to hear that he won't be making any more music. Love to his family. Birmingham 81 added, Very sad to hear of the death of Alan Hawkshaw, the composer, musician and library music don who gave us classic theme tunes such as Grange Hill and played with many of the greats. Thoughts go out to his friends and family, including daughter Kirsty of Opus 3 fame. The Champ. In 2009, Alan spoke out about coming from a musical family. Revealed. Strictly. Opinion. According to VK.com, he said, My father and three older brothers were all very musical. My father was a piano player and the next brother up from me was a euphonium player in the Salvation Army Band. They always used to play good music off those old 78 RPM records in the house when I was growing up. My father's brothers were also musical, but none of them were professional musicians, so I more or less picked up music as a hobby, and then I found it became all-consuming. Alan went on to say becoming a professional musician was never his first ambition. After leaving school in his teens, he went and worked in the printing trade alongside composer Brian Bennett. He then got the opportunity to become a member of the group which prompted him to quit his job. It was the first risk I took in terms of leaving my regular job to work as a musician, he spilled.